Good evening, folks. It's a little after seven. We're still in the 90s. I don't know if you can see the little hummingbird flying around. But anyway, he might have been trying to come over to the uh, butterfly, white butterfly ginger here. Uh, Miracle fruits are doing well. And this is one that was looking kind of rough, but he's got a lot of new growth on it. Got the one over here is still doing good. Picking the miracle fruits as hard as I can go, and I think I'm over a dozen today, and I still haven't put a dent in what's on the bushes and still making flowers and still bearing fruit. Doing real well. And I took a picture the other day of my uh, Serenium cherry here with a ripe fruit, and Have another one that will be ripe in a few days. Looks like a piece of candy, some kind of Christmas decoration or something. Got three star fruit plants outside here, and uh, this one had flowers on it. A month or two ago I don't think any fruit actually set on it but the one in the greenhouse which is too hot for me in there right now it was still well over 90 when I come out with a heat index to feel like well over a hundred and so I was just going coming out with the girls and gonna do a quick video my papayas are really doing well. I'm tickled about them. And my passion fruit here is putting on more flowers now. It had a good many on it before, but it hasn't so far, hasn't set a single fruit that I have seen. And the name on this one was Incense. But it doesn't smell to me any different, any stronger than the Maypops. Let's see if I can get you a shot of, a, of the flower. Flower is a little different than the Maypop. But I think all of them are gorgeous. I have to bite the daggone worms. See the fruits. Still got a few mulberries on this variety. Been getting a good many figs.
And this one is another one of the uh, May Pops. I have three big ones of them. Got to come back and I'll squash that worm in a minute. Uh, picked up one on the dirt earlier whenever I was mowing. And I don't know, I think I must have... Uh, bumped the vine with the lawnmower or something on the other outside of the fence there. And uh, they do have a really good smell whenever they are fully ripe. And it had good kernels in it. I posted a picture on my Facebook about it. And got three good tablespoons of pulp out of it. See the fat old worm over there. I haven't sprayed this year any poisons. I had used ladybugs and praying mantises, and I hadn't seen the worms there, caterpillars on the uh, passion fruits are the only thing I've been having any problems with. I do have the Purple possum or possum purple passion fruit. And it's got a few on it, but I'm not going to go that far. In this heat, it doesn't take me but a few minutes to get winded. I mowed this morning before it got too hot for me. And I... Uh, Still got more to do, but I'm tickled about what I did get done and what how it is looking. We've had enough rain that the grass is still green and doesn't crunch under my feet. I'm very pleased with that. And uh, I guess this pot has holes in the bottom. And so I've got a few little passion fruit down here that I just stepped on one I had mowed around them when I mowed earlier and uh, anyway I think the, I think the girls are about done with their business and so I'm gonna call it an evening and wish everyone well many blessings wash your hands and wear a mask if you will